Congrats on this amazing film. Thank I'm obsessed. You. Why are Hunger Games fans gonna love this prequel? Ooh, it's the Hunger Games that everybody knows and loves, but kind of the why behind all of it, which yep. is really fun. And I really love a good villain origin story, and I'm a Hunger Games fan, so I feel like if I feel that way, then then the fans will feel that way too. <laughs> I agree. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. Um, and there is so much nostalgia behind this film. What do you remember about watching the OG long time ago, 11 years uh, ago? <laughs> I mean, like obviously, Jen Lawrence's performance was astonishingly good, but so also, good. I, I, I'm not just saying this, everyone keeps thinking that I'm making this up because it's like a soundbite, but I really loved Donald Sutherland's performances. Like, mm. he was so, like you love to hate him, and I love a character like that. Yeah. Um, and so, I mean, that's one of the reasons why I was so excited to like play a younger version. Um, but yeah, I think for me, Donald Sutherland was like, just I, like sumptuously bad. I remember every Woody Harrelson delivery. Oh yeah. Oh he made God. me spill my drink. So good. Plus some brand new pants. And it's again, a great line like, reading. <laughs> at the beginning you love to hate him when he comes into the train and, then, and you're like, this guy's yeah. an ass. And then a, you realize that he's really got a There's a really beautiful moment in that movie that not a lot of people talk about, I think, where Haymitch is watching kids in the Capitol play with swords with oh, each other yeah. and he looks so disgusted by it. I just watched it recently. And it's an yeah, amazing yeah, yeah. Woody Harrelson moment. And you get to see his moment. inner monologue a little bit. Yeah. yeah. And it, I, yeah, I yeah. think that... I feel like we could list so many. There's so many moments, yeah. yeah. There's so many. Um, but tell me about being cast into this movie. I mean, knowing that it's such an iconic franchise, like how did you celebrate? I was at the Ivy in London. The I don't The, the, the restaurant. restaurant. I don't remember yeah. which one I was at because there's so many. Um, but I was with my sister and I was taking her to see like Big Ben that day and everything. She'd never been to London before. And I got the phone call that everything was official and I, and I was just so excited because I love the book so much and I love the character so much and the music. I just couldn't wait to, to dig in. I couldn't wait to see you guys. And to, I, I was just really, really overwhelmed with gratitude. Yeah. yeah. I think I, I don't think I actually believed it at first. I think I, I went really speechless, like I literally didn't have anything mm. to say. And my agents were on the phone kind of waiting for a response for like five minutes and I was like ah, 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 ah. Well you had like six um, auditions you said, right? Yeah. And then by the time we were doing chemistry reads, I kind of been told that I had the part but not officially and like I hadn't signed anything and as an actor, like if you haven't signed yet, you're like you you have could, no I idea. could still lose it. Yeah, um, exactly. So I was still like trying to like like show up for the auditions even though beautiful. I was <laughs> beautiful. You were doing a so beautiful, beautiful job. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. It was really dedicated. No, because <laughs> you, you really were like showing up for me and everything during oh, that time. It was really nice. wonderful. So fabulous. Yeah. I love this <laughs> duo. Um, what was it like working with the one and only Viola Davis? She's such a pro. Like yeah. did but she woman give king. you <laughs> woman king. She give you guys any advice? You had scenes with her. I didn't have scenes with Viola. Yeah, so I mean, she's it is like... a more Tom question. She's <laughs> an acting hero, obviously. Yeah. Um, I think I was really intimidated at first, but very quickly realized that she's just like a pro. Just like, the reason why everyone is so like enamored with her is because she just like, she, she just finds acting so fun. And you can see her playing with it, and you can see her just like, like throwing the ball around to, to, to find, find like new ways in. Um, I don't know, I've, I've, I, I learned a lot, mostly. Yeah. yeah. And she's also just like, she's very gracious, and she, 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 sees, the, she sees it for what it is, which is like playing. I yeah. love that. Hunger Games is known for its incredible fashion. Do you feel like this film really continued on that legacy? And do you have a favorite look? I think it definitely does. I mean, Trish Somerville, our costume designer, also worked on Catching Fire and the Mockingjays, mm -hmm. and she's been friends with Francis, our director, since their music video days together. Mm -hmm. So her you know, intention with these costumes was to really hone in on the turn of the century, 40s, 50s vibes. And so uh, for my character in particular, it was a little bit older than that because she's kind of wearing her ancestors clothes because it's like the cover you just passed down it's like the family lineage it's very important to them mm -hmm. and I thought that was always so fascinating because all of my clothes just looked a little bit older than everybody else's in district 12. Um, for myself my favorite like piece was this corset that I got to wear that attached and it was a golden snake and that's the way that it attached around the waist and I really love that. Yeah there's lots of like little easter eggs in there kind of feathered throughout the film that Trish the costume designer has put in like yeah. you have you have like Katniss on your. I have Katniss and Katniss Primrose. Katniss plants and Primrose plants mm -hmm. on your corset. Yeah. yeah. Which you would only know if you were like a super deep fan. You know? Yes. Yeah. Would you Do all... you have a favorite look? Oh, favorite look? Oh, yeah. I have one um, of you. 
I mean, like, the one on the poster is, is obviously, like, very capital. It feels kind of regal and uh, kind of oldie-worldy. I like that a lot. That was fun. To, fun. Oh, actually, no, my favorite look is the one at the end. At the end, that's the my end. favorite. Yeah, 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 with the big, like, blood red coat and it's just and it's heavy material and he's becoming the dictator to be. And yeah. And your you, wig it, in that is cool too. The wig is cool. Yeah, it's, it's a different look and it starts to, like, foreshadow where he's going. That was such a powerful moment too. I was like, oh my God, what a coat for a powerful exactly. guy. <laughs> um, yeah. And speaking of fashion, Rachel, we have to talk about your looks. Iconic oh, looks thank you. from the past, you know, fashion flashback. We love that at Access. Oh, wow. I have a few oh, pics. No. <laughs> Is this your first red carpet? It was my first red carpet ever. No way. At the yeah. Met? At the Met Gala. Wait, your first red carpet ever. was at the Met Gala? Yeah. That's mental. Baptism by fire, baby. It's like the red carpet. It is the one. What yeah. do you remember about like? Oh, the Ellie Saab like for the West Side Story LA premiere at the El Capitan. Yeah, beautiful. It was and it was heavy because it's all that beating is very intricate and is very heavy and yeah, completely. Wow. And we have one more. My first fashion week. Oh. My Paris fashion week. Yeah. That's Dior. <laughs> you were like, Dior. You were like serving yeah. looks from day one. Yeah, my I feel best like friend. like I'm a slow burn. I'm like rolling into it and riding <laughs> as I go, and you were oh, just yeah, like straight was, on the scene. Yeah, boom. yeah. My best friend made fun of me for wearing a beret in Paris. Oh no! Nice. I thought it was a good move. You know, it's Parisian. Like it. Yeah, no, it's Parisian. Yeah, I think it's, it's classy. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and then recently, um, you gave a nod to Jennifer Lawrence's catching fire dress. Yeah. Insane. Thank you. How did you, like, tell me about recreating this. Oh, I mean, it really was one of those things where my, my stylist, Sarah Tuli and I felt very, very lucky that Alexander McQueen had given us that select to wear for the carpet. And uh, it was one of those kind of game time decisions that it was like, okay, if it fits, it ships and we wear it. And it fit perfectly and we got to wear it. And I was just very insistent on the rose because the rose is so important in this film. And then it really did look like when I twirled that the bottom was burning. And so it, we really liked that that was a really nice nod to the original films. So good. Thank it's you. So good. Thank you guys so much. Thank you.